everyone for our second video we start with the probability of an event the probability of an event a occurring is denoted by p a where probability of a is equal to the number of possible outcomes in a over the number of all possible outcomes in S, which is sample space. Therefore, probability of A is equal to an A over an S. The probability of event A satisfies the following conditions. The probability of A is between 0 up to 1. If the probability of A is equal to 1, therefore the event A is a sure event, it's 100% sure it's going to be happen. And if the probability of A is equal to 0, therefore it means the event A is an impossible event. The complement of an event A is denoted as A bar or A prime. And the probability of A bar or A prime is equal to 1 minus the probability of A, where P A bar or P A prime means the probability that A does not happen. So for our example, example 6 here, assume that two dice are toast, find the probability the sum of the two numbers is 8 and b the sum of the two numbers is a prime number so for our first uh, question a let a be the event the sum of the two numbers is 8 so our element of a must be 2 6 we have 6, 2, we also have 3, 5, we also have 5, 3, and 4, 4. So, therefore, the number of element of even A is equal to 5. And the number of our sample space is equal to 36. Thus, the probability of an event A gonna happen is going to be equal to 5 over 36. And for our second example, our second question, let B be the event of getting the sum of the two numbers is a prime number. Therefore, for the element of B, must have 1, 1, we also have 1, 2, it's going to be equal to 3, and then we have 1, 4, we also have 1, 6, 2, 1, 2, 3, Two, five, three, two. We also have three, four, four, one, four, three, five, two. We also have five, six, which is equal to eleven. We have six, one and also 6 and 5 so these are all the elements of event b therefore the number of the element of b is equal to um, 15 and the number of sample space as usual is equal to 36 thus the probability of event b is going to be 15 over 36 which we may simplify it further and we have 5 over 12.
Next one is example number seven. A fair coin is tossed twice. Find the probability of getting A to exactly two heads and B at least one head. So we may, we may represent this idea or these questions using uh, what we call as the the uh, three diagrams. So we may have um, for our first toes we may have head and we also may have tail for our outcome. And when we toast for the second one, we have also head and maybe we have tail. So maybe we have head here and maybe we have tail. So for this one, this is for our outcomes for our, our first toast and that one is for our second toast. Now, so our sample space must have either head, 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 tail, tail, head, or tail, tail. So our NS or our number of sample space is equal to 4. So let A be the event of getting two heads. So uh, we have two heads, so H, H. Therefore, thus, the property of A is equal to 1 over 4. And for our second question here, let B be the event of getting at least one head. So at least one head, we have head, head, tail, head, and also head, tail. So we have the probability of the event B is going to happen is equal to 3 over 4. So now, for example, for exercises, number one, on a single toast of one die, find the probability of obtaining a 4, B, an odd number, C, an even number, D, a number less than 4, a number greater than 4, and F, an odd or an even number. So you may discuss this with your lecturer later. Now, the second one is the Venn diagram. Venn diagram can also be used to solve probability problems. So for example, number eight, we have there are 100 Form 6 students of whom 20 are studying biology, 15 are studying chemistry, and eight are studying both biology and chemistry. We can illustrate this in a Venn diagram. So we have our universal set here. We have two um, set which is C for chemistry and B for biology. So uh, we have the shaded area where um, the shaded area represents the uh, students that study both biology and chemistry. So we have eight students over here. We have 12 students who study biology only and we have also have a seven students who study only chemistry and we have also did not um, study B or C which is it leads to 73 students and what we focus here what we're trying to focus here is the probability of studying both biology and chemistry so the shaded area must be equal to 8 over 100 students which is equal to 0 0.08 
So now, the probability of studying either biology or chemistry. So we, pre we, pre we represent this idea or this sentence with the property B union C. So we may have, we may have, if we look at this Venn diagram again, we have B and C. So B union C is this part, with this shared part, yeah. So we have 12 people plus 8 people plus 7 people who study chemistry only over overall student 100. Therefore, we have our answer. The property of student study either biology or chemistry is equal to 0 0.27. So now for exercise, in a junior school class of 28 people, 7 are in both sports team and the school band. There are 16 students or 16 pupils involved in sports team and 10 in the school band. Find the probability that a pupil chosen at random where A is only in the school band B is in either a sports team or the school band and C is in either a sports team nor the school band. So you may discuss this with your lecturer. See you next time. Bye bye.